Today is the day. I just know it is. There's no way I'm hitting the pillow tonight without experiencing my first actual ninja assignment. All the senseis talk about changing our bad habits and replacing them with new ones we we'll just have to go into pause mode. The craziest news has been flooding my ninja come all morning long. The teriyakis are striking all over the city and there's nothing I hate more than those no good sleep thieves. It hasn't even been confirmed yet, but there's even a rumor that they have snuck into the uh, Emperor's palace and stole his collection of ancient samurai swords. <laughs> No need to worry though. The shinobis are the most skilled ninjas in Japan. Since they announced at our last training section that the shinobis will take action. According to Bushido Code, the number one goal of shinobis is to protect the civilians of our city. The teriyakis have gone too far this time. But you all, nothing can stop the shinobis. My mentors, Master Nun and Master Chuck, have already been summoned to the Jojo, the Dojo, 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 for their secret assignments. I just know I'm the next. I gotta keep this bad boy close today. But while I wait, the coolest event is being featured today at the Matui, Karaoke. I can't wait to see what songs the competitors are choosing this year. Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Let it go, let it go Can't hold it back anymore Let it go, let it go were awesome! Best I've ever seen in festival history. How will they ever stop it next year? Hey, you know what would be fun while we wait on my assignment to come in? I feel pretty confident in my karaoke skills, but I'd love to some help for my performance. If you want to perform a song at the festival, raise your hand!
you guys are awesome performers. Today has been my favorite in festival history. If you gotta be undercover, this is definitely the place to be. Yes, it's finally here. Today's assignment. I'm totally ready. Let the teriyaki takedown begin. What? This has to be a mistake. Since they sent me the craziest instructions, and not crazy in a good way, the teriyakis are bullying everyone in the city. And get this, he wants me to deliver six bags of rice to the shinobi training camp on Mount Fuji. Does he realize how long that's going to take? <sighs> the teriyakis are causing chaos all over the city, and there are obvious bigger fish to fry than carrying up rice up the mountain. Hmm, I know Sensei is supposed to be like the wildest, well, wisest ninja instructor and everything, but he's acting more like Snum Sensei, if you ask me. How does he expect me to be able to fight bad guy experience firsthand? I gotta be honest, Sensei is not my favorite person right now. He's such a day ruiner. <sighs> Ugh, I have to get the other five bags along the way. Like I have a choice. Since I get what Sensei wants. This is heavier than I thought. Imagine carrying six of these at one time. But don't worry. I can show you guys of one thing. Chamoi Moto does all assignments. Pointless or not. And record time. No energy left. That was way harder than I thought. And it took forever. How can six bags of rice all of a sudden feel like a thousand bricks? It's going to take me a solid week to recover from that completely unnecessary assignment. Pointless and exhausting. Can't wait to check this one off the list. As of this day, couldn't get any waste. You guys will never guess what happened next. I had delivered the rice and was making my way back down the mountain when this guy started yelling at me. He broke his ankle and I needed help. I took one look at him and noticed something terrible. He had, ugh, I can't even think about it. A teriyaki symbol on his jacket. That's right. He was one of them. Like I'd ever stop to help the enemy. Can I just go back to bed and start today over? I'm gonna need a do-over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My Snapchat is blowing up. How did he get to go there? He's a recruit too. You guys, my friend walk Got to go in Paris Palace. What? That's so not fair at all. Walt took a selfie and said, Shout out to Sensei for sending me on my first ninja assignment. Mm. I'm sorry. Why is he going on a mission when I'm carrying rice up the mountain? Just when I thought I couldn't get any angrier, well, Sensei, he pulls something like this. Great, just great. Another message from Sensei. I don't even want to open it right now. He better be apologizing. Konnichiwa. It may seem strange, but in order to become a true ninja warrior, one must master the art of love. Loving people who are not like us is not an easy assignment, but with God's help, we can learn to take off hate and put on love, just like Jesus did. In the book of Luke, a man who was an expert in the law stood up to Jesus and asked, how can I have eternal life? Jesus asked the man what he thought the answer was. 
He said to love God with all your heart and also love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. Jesus told him he was right and went on to explain who his neighbor was by telling this story. There was once a man traveling to Jerusalem, and while he was on his way, some robbers attacked him, took all that he had, and beat him. He was lying near the road in need of help when two men walked by on the other side of the road. The first man was a priest, and the second was a Levite. Although you would think both of these men would have stopped to help the traveler, neither one of them did. But when a Samaritan passed by, he saw the hurt man lying on the road. He felt sorry for him and decided to show love by helping him bandage his wounds. The Samaritan put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and paid the innkeeper two silver coins to watch over the man. Jesus finished the story and asked which one of the three men was really a neighbor to the hurting man in the story. The expert in the law replied that the Samaritan was the neighbor. He was the one who had shown love. We can all show love by remembering 1 Corinthians 13. It tells us that love is patient and kind. Love does not want what belongs to others, and it does not become easily angry. To become a ninja warrior, you must learn to take off hate and put on love. Boy, do I feel terrible. Sensei's wisdom from the Bible always makes me rethink everything. I've never heard that story before, but I definitely do not want to be like the priest or the Levite that didn't stop to help that man that was hurt. Instead, I want to get in the habit of loving others and helping them. Uh-oh. I completely left that guy that was hurt on the side of the mountain. If I'm going to get in the habit of loving others, I have to go back and help him, even if he is a teriyaki. I'm going to get that guy some help, but I just got a message from Nasser's nun and Chuck you guys check it out. I'll watch it on my way to the mountain. Chuck, what happened? Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's just a little scratch. You are in full body bandage. There is no way that that's just a scratch. You tell me who did this to you. Who did this? Oh, well, you see, Dragonfire. Dragonfire did this. He's the worst. You know what? That's it. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. He, ooh, I've got it. First, I will take Dragonfire's uniform and rip it to shreds. Um, none. Wait. Hold on, Chuck. I've got something else. hi yeah. I'm going to junk his uniform into pink paint. He hates pink paint, and I hate Dragonfire. None. You've got it all wrong. When you asked who did this, I thought you meant the bandage. Wait, he hurt you and then bandaged you up? No, no, no. We were getting ready for a sparring match and I was putting on my uniform. I tripped over my belt, did a front flip, and landed on the weights. I couldn't move a muscle. My dude Dragonfire came to my rescue, helped me up and got the first aid kit, and here I am. He helped you? That's so cool that he did that. And there I was, hating him. I feel so bad. It was so easy for me to just hate Dragonfire. None, it's important to take off hate and put on love, even when it seems like that person was wrong. Dragonfire turned out to be one cool ninja after all. You are so right, Chuck. I'm glad that he fixed you up, and pretty soon you'll be good as new. Oh, mommy. Master Nun and Master Chuck are masters for a reason. They completely mastered all the habits Sensei is trying to teach me. Not only do I need to help an injured teriyaki, but I also need to apologize to Sensei for the way I acted today. I really started hating him when things weren't going my way. But I can love him by trusting and respecting him. He pretty much seems to know what he's doing around here. Looks like I got a busy afternoon working on my new habit. OK, 
catch you guys later.